Welcome back, Scallywags. Marine Tech Mike here. This is going to be another tech tip on a Tuesday. This is number 14. It's sandwiched right between the tech tip on battery capacity testing, which is going on with students behind us here, and the importance of float voltage so you don't end up ruining batteries or burning down boats. But this is about protecting the ungrounded um, battery terminals or the reason this came up is in our uh, electrical two class, we're putting in inverters. And we have some students that had their class T fuses as per, per standard. Um, and they have uh, negative bus bars next to this and in close proximity. And of course, you don't want anything to short out. And so often this happens on boats, especially here at the lab, my goodness, is that the factory cover for a class T fuse um, gets knocked off, lost, broken, whatever. And then you got this, all this exposed, energized metal. And so in E10 ABYC for batteries, there's uh, like three things you can do. You can protect the ungrounded, the hot, with a rubber boot or something, depends how big it is, uh, you know. And that's great, uh, non-conductive material. You can just put it in a box with a lid on it, which is also an acceptable solution. Or if you've got a big boat, you could actually have a battery compartment where you put the batteries in, in which case you close the, the door or whatever and have it locked off, and then you're not gonna have inadvertent shorting. Um, also, tech tip about battery wrenches. These 8D and 4Ds get really close here, and it is bad news if you touch these together with a chunk of metal, like your wrench or a ratchet. So uh, battery wrenches are great. But what we run into often with the class T fuse example and with this, is if you get wires going two different directions, maybe one is the main house feed and one goes off the inverter or a small one like this for a diesel boiler. And if you, you get your factory boots here, these are kind of difficult to use. And they do make one of these, I couldn't find it in the lab that actually has cables in both ends and covers up and but the tech tip is this, what there is, you go to your hardware store and you get clear vinyl tubing, which we talk about in our plumbing class has almost zero use on a boat uh, because it kinks and it, it's no good for blow water and whatever. But this stuff works perfect for protecting this ungrounded terminal or a class T fuse or whatever. You simply take and measure out how much you need, chop it to length, get the diameter, we just keep some inch and a half and one inch and different sizes on hand. And then all you do is you take your box cutter and slice this thing down. Super simple. Now, one of the benefits of this is it's clear. You always wanna keep an eye on the battery terminals, make sure they're not turning green and fuzzy or anything going on. We've seen a lot of crazy stuff there. Um, so you can hit it with a corrosion block or a battery protector or whatever, you know, first. And then all you got to do is simply pop this piece of clear hose over the connection and grab yourself a couple of tie wraps and a little zip tie action. Put two zip ties that'll secure it in place so it doesn't fall off. And if you didn't have to go to the hardware store to pick up this clear vinyl, it's like two bucks or whatever. And then you, of course, always use your flush cuts, trim off the two zip ties, and just like that, now if a boat owner or somebody inadvertently lands a piece of metal across here, we're not gonna have an explosion or a, a bad situation. So um, that's it, tech tip 14. You know, clear vinyl tubing. You can inspect it, it's safe, cheap, inexpensive, fast. That's what we like to do with our technicians here at Marine Tech. So. As always, thanks for watching. Click the like button, subscribe. Um, if you're interested in learning how to fix boats, come out to the West Coast, Anacortes, and Skagit Valley College, and we're the place that can give you that training. Have a good day. Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. 
Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out.